Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Kyle from PixelHangover.com. Uh, today, we're bringing you the uh, latest raid released on Tuesday, um, this past Tuesday, with the update, which unlocked the pinnacle of Storm's raid um, for you to do. Um, today, we uh, are doing it and breaking it up in three sections. Uh, we'll be doing, of course, the three in this dungeon, which is Iron Con, Twin Consorts, and Lei Shen. Uh, this first one here is just Iron Con. Uh, we'll be putting up the other ones here as well uh, shortly. Um, this here is just the trash in front of Iron Con. It's not too hard. I just kind of wanted to show it to you guys because I know the raid um, that I was in was saying uh, essentially for everybody to more or less stack uh, because the statues do a lot of jumping and of course they want you know if it's going to jump just to jump a couple inches instead of a couple feet or yards whatever um, pretty easy though the, the trash is nothing you know whatever um, the boss fight itself of course it's uh it's tough it can be tough it's just a matter of, of being on your toes and um, more or less listening to your uh, uh, warnings <laughs> and not ignoring them uh, which I happen to do once or twice so um, but it's pretty fun dungeon um, yeah see the screen freeze there I'm pretty sure my uh, virus protector was scanning the background at least I hope that's what that is because that's ugly is what that is <laughs> Wow yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I guess that's what AOD, AOE does the screens, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's my virus protector. Maybe it's both. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I just want to show you guys that little trash, se trash section there so that you could kind of get an idea of um, how it is, how to do it. Um, you know, giving out pointers on trash. That's when you know you're uh, A-quality. Uh, we're going in here for the kill. I pop all my awesome little things from archaeology. Everyone goes, ooh, monster, I want to be like you when I grow up. So, that's what I hear quite a bit when I do that. So, that's why I do it for the for the fans. Um, uh, the first phase here, you fight Roshak, uh, which, of course, uh, Iron Con essentially jumps uh, to three different mounts. Uh, the first one is Roshak. And throughout all three different mounts, every one that you kill, he does a move um, that essentially is it's the same for all three, but it just changes the elements that he's using with it. Uh, it's, he'll throw a spear out, which you'll see here in a second. I I get chosen for the first one. See, so you, you get a little personal action one on one. So there's the spear, and there is the burning cinders. So. Uh, it spreads out in five different directions, as you can see across the map. Um, you will come into contact with another one. He'll throw two out at a time. Like there'll be another one coming out here shortly. Um, those two, the one will stay that he initially threw first, but it will eventually go away. Uh, it just takes probably about ten seconds. I'd say eight seconds for the, for the initial one. The first one goes away. Um, so just kind of be careful. There's you know ten rows of fire and hell going across your screen that you do not want to join and be a part of. So be careful that, um, of course you can always click that and skyrocket across the map. That'd be another option. Um, see the first one went away there. Um, pretty easy fight I guess. It's just a matter of watching those that he throws because it can get pretty nasty real quick if you're not paying attention. Um, it does something like forty to 50,000 damage on a tick, something like that, and that's not pretty for the healers or you. Uh, the second phase here, it's pretty much the same thing with the um, spears. There's nothing really too much different. Um, this one though, he does have a um, lightning that comes along with it instead of the uh, burning embers or burning cinders. Um, yeah, I, I noticed the first one from the Burning Cinders um, Spear it didn't seem to like stun me when he threw it. So I don't know if it's, you know, unique to just this one with the cuz he he threw it and I I'm, I'm instantly stunned. Like I'm stuck there. You can see me cowering. So I'm not sure what that was all about and then I get stunned. So like I'm I'm there for a good solid 10 12 seconds and then magically the boss saves me <laughs> by putting me up in that. 
and uh, gets me out of it. So he's a good guy. I'm okay with him when he does that. Um, this part here, you get, of course, pulled in, as you can see, with all your raid members. If you try to get out, it pushes you or pulls you back in. It's kind of pointless to try to even get out, to be honest with you. Because, um, like I said, you're just going to get pulled back in for one from that alone. And then, of course, you got all the tornadoes that are going around the outside. And if you get in one of those tornadoes, they're just going to stun you and kind of, you know, whirl you around for a couple seconds. It's kind of pointless to even try to get out of. Um, but that's pretty much all he does in this round. Um, nothing too fancy. Um, just avoid the tornadoes. <laughs> avoid doing that. Uh, check out your ranged radar and, uh, you know, abide by it. You know, abide by the range, range radar. Oh, showing you a little airtime. What do you think of that? So that's it for this phase. Um, like I say, same thing essentially, just a little bit different mechanics, I guess, with the uh, tornadoes. Uh, the tornadoes kind of stick around for the rest of the fight. They don't do anything per se. They they're in the background. They're you know, unless you're way back in the back being a, a nub, um, you shouldn't have to worry about them. Um, this last phase here, or this third phase on his mounts, last phase on his mounts, um, he has uh, a shield um, which basically can shield him in any two given directions. So it could be the front and back, it could be the, the back and the left side, the back and the front side, or right side, front side, right side, whatever. Any two of those combinations of the four, it could be. Um, and of course he still has his spears. Um, that's pretty much it for this phase. Uh, pretty simple. I mean, I would take this any day over getting swallowed up in a tornado. You know, because, you know, I'm not a fan of that. I prefer the shields. Maybe if he gave me a shield when he threw me in the tornado, I would feel much better about it. But I can't give him too much grief. He did get me out of the stun where I was, you know, getting swallowed up by his lightning. So maybe, maybe it's not so bad after all. And that's pretty much it for this phase. Of course, like I say, there's the two there once again. The one will disappear. Be careful of them, though. Um, they can get nasty when they first initially come out because you don't know what directions they're going to be going in. finish this fa phrase this phase sorry it's late what can I say um, an iron con finally gets down off his high horse and wants to go mano y mano with yours truly and about you know 24 other people uh, this phase is a little bit more serious because there's a lot more direct damage um, <laughs> he, he, he does a, a move um, that basically smashes your face. It's called a fist smash, which you're getting to see right now. Um, it lasts, feels like it lasts forever. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess the fight in general is not too, too tough, but if you're not careful, that fist smash will destroy your raid in no time because it does anywhere from 13 to 18,000 damage every half second, it feels like. So, and of course, if you have the bad healing, <laughs> you're done for. Um, they can't keep up, much like mine couldn't keep up in my raid. Um, this was the first time I'd done it though, so, you know, I guess I'm okay to be a noob, kind of, while I, uh, experience it for the first time myself and pop my cherry. Um, but that's pretty much it. Not too tough, to be honest with you, just a matter of paying attention, having the heals there, your tank's doing his job. And of course DPS can be lame, because they're DPS and no one cares, because you're one of whatever. Uh, we did end up losing this. I did not get any good loot from this. It was just gold when I rolled. Um, so that's pretty much it. We did wipe. We did beat it on the second time. So no worries. We did get it. Even though we felt pretty hard and sad the first time because we were so close to beating him after going through all three of those phases. <laughs> so that was pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like, thumbs up, all that stuff. Share with your friends. You know, be cool. All right. Later, guys.
a pathetic display. 